Hello, this is a short video to show you how to export a hydraulic module to the Bentley Map Mobile format. The Bentley Map Mobile for format is called iModule. The iModule file is very important in this case to give to a user or a third party person to visualize their hydraulic models in a freeware. And there is a way to, to see the hydraulic modules in a desktop application or in a tablet application. So the AI model file is not only a drawing, but also a mix of graphic and information. So you're not going to have only the graphics of the hydraulic model, but also the information of each element, such as pipes, pumps, valves, and etc. And you can use even an scalable or a schematic models. So I'm going to show you how to export uh, a model. In this case, I am using WarGens, but you can apply this procedure using either CRGems or any other hasted products inside the Bentley portfolio. So I'm using also the latest version, the Select Series 6. And I'm going to use a, a tool that you can find on the file menu export publish map mobile model the bentley map mobile it's a free app that you can you, you can find on the itunes store if you have the ipad tablet or you can find also on the play store on the android store when you start the export function you're going to to see on the left pane all the elements of the model and if the element it's a white paper it means that you have this kind of element in the network or if you have this the symbol of empty it means that you don't have this element on the model so you can choose if you want to send to the model not only the the graphics but also the data the database that is stored on the SQLite file on the hydraulic model so you can choose if you want to export all all the columns of the SQLite or you can filter using predefined flex tables this is awesome because you can you can check and you can choose which columns do you want to see on the on the file on the tablet so it's very important to create a flex table because it's going to work like a filter so i'm going to use my predefined flex table for each element and you can and you can choose if you want to see the file in 2d or 3d so i'm going to check to export a 2d network I'm going to hit OK. Ah, another important thing: you can choose which which column, which attribute you uh, you need to 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 use as a as a name or a number to 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 search to seek elements on the Bentley Web Mobile app. So I'm going to use the column label, or you can check another one if it's important for you. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to choose a folder to save the file with extension iModel. What are gems for mobile? Now it's, we need to move the file using the Windows Explorer to inside the iTunes. So I'm going to open iTunes. I'm going to find the Map Mobile application and using Windows Explorer, I'm going to drag and drop. The iModel file inside the iPad tablet.
Now checking the exported file, I'm going to open the Bentley Map mobile app. In this case, I am using an iPad tablet. So starting Bentley Map mobile, I can see on the first screen the water genes for mobile file that I just created. So accessing this file, I'm going to see all the graphs and also if I zoom in to an element, I can select using the touch screen any element and as a result on the right panel I can see the, the properties window and in this properties window I have exactly the columns of my predefined flex table. So it's this is a result when you have a flex table. You have just the attribute that you want. And here we have tools to search elements. It's very important. So if you click, you can find using the both ID and label columns. Very important. It's an awesome tool. Okay, that's all and thanks for your attention.